Hey guys, so it's brush day, right? All about brushes today. We're gonna be talking about how I got here. We're also gonna be reviewing a new brush. Um, we're gonna be talking about that eye gel situation. And we're gonna talk about that Ibella situation. Thought maybe it was a little easier just to do it all together, you know? So, <clears throat> this was actually kind of a surprise. So someone, one of you guys, Ileana Lee, recommended this brush to me. And I was like, no, that brush is trash. I have one just like it. I don't think it's very good. She had said someone else had it, someone she knew her cousin. And I was like, no, I got one just like it. It's trash. You guys see anything weird about that? Yeah, straight nylon, right? She's like, no, no, no. I saw pictures of it. You know, it looked really good. And I'm like, all right, well, we'll give it a shot because I can always return it. And I'll be darned if I wasn't wrong, like super wrong. Check it out. I was very wrong. Even the wood feels different. Like it looks similar because of the pattern of the wood, but clearly not the same brush. So when I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And this looks really nice, actually. It's really, it's got a nice like weight to it. Like it's heavy wood. It's really nice. I got a size eight since I'm just testing, so it's kind of small, but this was a size eight too. So, you know, fairly some fairly close. Here, let me slip another size eight. So yeah, I guess that's pretty accurate. Um, but yeah, it feels really nice. Like the handle's lacquered. It's just really cool. I like it. Not even, yeah. So I was wrong, clearly. So I'm gonna clean this out. And while I do that, before we get started, we're gonna talk about a couple things. Um, so the Ibella situation. A while, oh, also it came in this really cool box, like inside of a ribbon. Like they put a lot of presentation into this thing. It was really nice. And it was like, I think this one was like 11 bucks for a size eight. Like really nice, right? I'm impressed. I was wrong. Okay, now let's, uh, let's discuss. So I, a while back, back like when I first got started, um, the Ibellus brush popped up in my discount group, whatever. It said it was Sable. I tried it out. It was pretty good. It was actually fairly decent. Uh, really nice and flat and smooth and uh, didn't, didn't have any issues with it. This is not the original brush that I had, by the way. Now, a bunch of people bought this, bu this brush based on my recommendations. We had talked about the nylon blends and how that one did have a little nylon in it, right? A bunch of people bought it based on my recommendations. One of those people was Courtney Ross, uh, the girl who sent me the nut polish. And she messaged me asking me if I had had trouble with the brush because she bought a size 14, this size 14 to be exact. Uh, she sent it to me so I could show you guys, show you guys the, the tomfoolery going on here, the shenanigans. Anyway, so she said she kept getting acrylic stuck in it. It wouldn't like because she was looking for a thinner, bigger brush, right? That wasn't like super fat. And this would be that exact brush. She said it kept getting acrylic stuck in it. Didn't matter what she did. You know, we tried all the troubleshooting and it just wouldn't work. And she's, you know, she's not a newbie. So um, she showed it to me and I'm like, I'll be damned, that is 100% nylon. Like it is clearly all nylon. Like... Same color all the way down, right? And the hairs are super light and shiny. It's just, yeah. So I went to look at my brush. I had to go, I couldn't find it. I had to go back through my old video and look at it. Um, so I ordered another one so I could do this video because my intention was to show you guys, I put a disclaimer on the video that the bigger sizes use more nylon. So, you know, don't purchase it. I didn't take it down right away because you know, watch hours. Anyway, if you take it down, you lose the watch hours. So I put a disclaimer on it and I said, you know, don't necessarily buy this one. It's okay in the smaller sizes, but I can't guarantee consistency across sizes. So I ordered another size eight so I could show the difference because I thought in the bigger sizes, they put more nylon, you know, to cut down costs. Well, when I got my next size eight, exactly the same. Same nylon, 100% nylon. 
So at some point they changed their brushes. Here, let me show you a picture that I pulled from the first video. And that's just not, that wasn't the original brush. So I, I don't know at what point they changed it, but I didn't want anybody else buying it on my recommendation or seeing the video and maybe not seeing the disclaimer that I put in it. <clears throat> so I took it down. And I took it down because like I said, I don't, I don't want anybody accidentally wasting their money on it. It's not expensive, but that's not the point. Um, if I'm wrong, I say I'm wrong. I was wrong, maybe not intentionally, but I was still wrong, so it had to go. So uh, thank you to Courtney for sending this to me so I could show you guys what they were trying to pull. And she was absolutely right. When the brush showed up, it still had, like, it was still, she tried her best, and it was still just, that's what happens with nylon. You know, you know it, it eats acrylic, and it refuses to give it back. Let me show you, this one's nylon too, which it is a good fake. Let me, it, it's a good fake because it's not as bad as the nylon. Like it, somehow it stays fairly light and they've dyed the fibers a little darker at the tip so that it does look like what a sable brush is supposed to look. Oh, <laughs> so it does look like what it's supposed to, but it's not, it's clearly not. So I apologize to anybody who may have got that, gotten that brush. Um, that's my bad. I guess I'm gonna have to stalk these companies and make sure they aren't pulling this crap. But anyway, so now I just, this is the, the crappier version of this one. I just use it for, to use, to make an example of basically. <laughs> okay, so moving on. Again, I apologize to anybody who got that brush. That's why I took the video down. I don't want any other beginners to waste their money based on something that I said. And it had, it was getting a lot of views. So I, I don't want that to happen to anyone else. So it's gone. Uh, if any of you guys noticed it, which you probably didn't notice it missing. It was like four months ago or something. It was back when I was first started doing this. It was one of the, it was actually the first brush review that I did. Um, well, I think maybe the second. I think the Hermonas was the first one. It may have been the second. So yeah, I, it was a while ago. So God, I feel so bad when I think of how many people may have bought it. Like it's workable, but it's not gonna last very long, especially not if you're doing nails on a regular basis. If you're just practicing once or twice a week, it might last you a month or two. But if you're doing three or four sets a day like Courtney was, no, it didn't last a week. So I'm really sorry and I'm sorry to Courtney. Like it looked good though, anyway. So these are trash. Um, let's talk about how I learned so much about brushes. So I, uh, when I first started, I didn't know, I didn't know the difference. Um, I thought an acrylic brush was the same across the board. <laughs> so I had the brush that came in the Kiss Kit um, that was not good. Um, I trashed that kiss kit after the first day. So when I ordered, I ordered some Mia Secret because I went online and everybody said that was the, or that was the acrylic beginner should use. So I got that. Well, I needed a brush, a good brush, right? So my goofy self, I looked at pictures online of what the brushes looked like. And then I went to Walmart and I was like, well, that looks the same, right? It was in a pack of like five dollar acrylic or five dollar paint brushes. Like, well, that's the same thing, right? Yeah, it looks the same, right? Clearly, <laughs> and it it kind of does, I guess. Here, let's let's look at one of the pointy ones. I guess it could if you didn't know any better. So I came home that day and I did nails with that brush. It's long gone, clearly. Like I, <laughs> it's not, but. Oh, look, doesn't that look familiar? Look at that. Hang on. We know what that is. Anyway, so I came home and I did nails with it. Oh, it was a mess. Still a little better than the Kiss Kit, cause, but it was a mess. Check it out. Let's do a nail. I want you guys to see what I went through. Clearly my technique is better now, but. <laughs> and it's already like, yeah. So don't use Walmart paintbrushes to try to do nails. 
I know a couple people told me when they first started they were using makeup brushes. I'm like, well, that's probably better than this. So, oof. Hey, actually, that's not bad. Didn't look like that the first time, but, you know. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's that was my first <laughs> acrylic brush. Actually, it may have been that size. I don't know. So, we're going to throw those away now because we're, we're better than that. All right. So, then I went to Sally's, right? Because Sally's, Sally's has acrylic nail stuff. And Sally's is supposed to be where the professional shop, right? Isn't that what they say? <laughs> so, ooh, yeah, that's Sable. It sure is. Check it out. Yeah, it's Sable. Um, I don't want to say 100% for sure, but it's pretty close. Nice. All right. Go ahead, Ileana. We might have a new brush master in the comments, guys. <laughs> so, anyway, moving on. I went to Sally's, right? Because they sell brushes. They sell acrylic. They sell all that stuff. Now, their brushes say the same thing on the packages as all the other ones. Uh, that it's 100% Kalinske. Let me, let, me make, let me talk about something else real quick. So, Kalinske is a weasel. It's a weasel in Asia and Russia and Siberia. Now, we've talked about how Sable is not actually from a Sable. It's from a Siberian weasel, right? Well, someone pointed out in the comments to me that I needed to do more research because Kalinsky was a weasel, not a style of hair. However, in America, that is the nylon brushes are allowed to call themselves Kalinsky. And I know this because I fought with a couple companies about it. Um... Nylon brushes can call themselves Kalinsky because that is the commonly accepted term in America for the style of brush. So that's how they get around it. So they can say that it's Kalinsky, even though it's nylon. So that's how they get around it. They say that they don't say it's hair from a sable. They say it's sable hair. And they can claim that that means anything because their verbiage is different. So it just, in America, we, you know, deceptive advertising, they can do that. So to the person that <clears throat> let me know how wrong I was, like I, I'm aware that it comes from a Siberian weasel. Um, I actually talked about it with C. Mayo a few times that it doesn't come from an actual sable. It comes from the tail of a weasel. A weasel and let me see, it, it's in Asia, Siberia, yada yada. They're raised in captivity and they shave their tails and that's what's used for the actual sable brushes. Anyway, moving on. So they are allowed to call themselves Kalinsky, even though they're not weasel hair and they're not sable hair. Because America, I guess. I don't know. So these are the first brushes I got from Sally's. Let me know if you can see the difference. I don't know what I was thinking with this big monster. Um, but they only, <laughs> they only had uh, two kinds. This one with the clear handle. The Beauty Secrets brand. I don't even know what this one was. I can't read it. <clears throat> but it says it's a size 10, so um, that is huge. It's massive. Look at that. Like, it's just, yeah. So these were the first ones I got from them. I've clearly trashed them. I don't, I think this one might have actually been Sable, but this one clearly wasn't. And it was expensive, too. Like, ridiculously expensive. Yeah. Yeah. So this one's completely 100% nylon. This one maybe not 100%, but you can see where I scraped it with metal because that's what happens when you scrape acrylic out with like a metal cuticle pusher, you get those little curls. So yeah, this was my, this was my big foray into really doing, you know, this was when I decided I was gonna take it seriously and I went and spent 30 bucks on these, on each one at Sally's and whew, they lasted about a day. So I, ooh, yeah, hot mess, right? So I'm like, okay, that's it. I'm done with this, this, this mess. I went ahead and checked out Amazon, right? Well, this is when I started to learn that about the, the practices on Amazon. This is when I started 
this is how my road to this began. So I got a set for like 10 bucks. Had, um, cause I wasn't spending 30 bucks again just to get nylon. I didn't know at the time that that's what was wrong with it, that it was nylon. I thought, you know, that I just messed it up. So the, um, the next one that I got, I got a set. It had, where's the other part? It had a liner brush and it, where is that? That might be gone. Had a liner brush, a dotting tool, and this brush. And it had like yellow, pink, and blue crystals in the handle. Um, the brush actually wasn't awful. I mean, it's clearly trash now, but um, it was, I think like, I think this one is like half nylon, but you can see where I had to scrape the acrylic out. Trash that one too. So then I ordered another one. And then I got these. And it was like eight bucks for a size eight. It's pretty big too, right? And you can tell from the hair, it's not nylon. Neither was this one. These were like the Rolla Bling and they said they were Sable and I'm like, huh, maybe they are. So then I started looking into what Sable was and you know, got all into my path there. But these ones actually weren't bad and I used these for a while. Um, I used these for a while. Now looking at them, they're probably part nylon, but they were better. It was more sable, so these actually worked a lot better. Um, not great, but you can see they like actually pick up beads and stuff. But you know, I trashed them with acetone, like soaking them in acetone overnight, uh, using the metal on them. It took me a while before I figured out that metal is not, not good for sable, that it'll make the hairs curl. Um, like, you know how when you're making ribbons with scissors, like how you scrape the scissors on them to make it curl up and spiral? Yeah, same thing happens to Sable when you run metal on it. So I used these for a while and you know, when I have trash them, I'd order another one because they weren't bad. And for 10 bucks, I was fine with it. So let's see, then I got this thing. Actually, I might have it reversed. This one may have been first. This one's, I don't even know. I'm not, I have no idea what, what this one, but it says it was a size eight and look at that thing. Like it is teeny tiny. I crimped it, but uh, that was before I knew how to do that. So now it just looks like a donkey hoof. So I got that one and it was, what, what was the name of it? I can't remember the name. Hmm. I think this might've been the end. Agnia or whatever. But man, if you want to talk about trying to lay acrylic and it being impossible, this thing was impossible. It's so small. It's like trying to do it with a toothpick. And of course, when I first started, I didn't know any better. So I wanted to do super long extendo nails. Like, like I had any business trying to do that. <laughs> so, but this one was very pretty. That's when I learned that pretty doesn't matter. Well, I mean, you know, my parents told me that when I was younger and I would come home crying, but I didn't believe them. So then I started moving up. Um, I think the next brush that I got was a pan. It was that blue marble one. I don't think I even have that one anymore because those, those I had so much trouble with, like they would just split after a week, they would split just every time I went through like three of them because they're so good when you first use them. And then they just so let's see, what was next, what was next? Then I got, and, and during this time, I was arguing with these companies on Amazon. Every time I'd return it, I'd be like, that's not real sable. They're like, well, so what? And I'm like, uh, it's nylon. They're like, no, it isn't. I'm like, yes, it is. <laughs> and that was when somebody finally broke it down to me after I think this one, cause I paid it. I think I paid a, a lot for that one. Um, they finally broke it down to me and said it doesn't have to be sable because none of the brushes are sable. So anyone can say that none of them are sable. I'm like, okay, well, I guess, I guess I'll just be wrong. So that's when I started like checking, like I was looking at the pictures on Amazon to see if I could see what the difference was before I ordered. And that's when I came across Panna. And if you've ever used a Panna, you know, you know, it's real. Like they're just, they're good brushes, but that blue marble one just had trouble. And everybody I know who had that blue marble one had trouble, but 
they're they're good quality. So this became the standard that I was judging the other brushes off of. Um, the way that the hair looks, you know, the the color, the how it absorbs, and I started looking into brushes and what made them work well. So that's kind of how I got started doing that in the first place. And then that Ibellus brush came up and it was in the discount group and a few people in one of the nail groups I was in was like, does anybody know if it's any good? Now at this point I was making little videos for my friends because even though I wasn't great yet, I mean, I'm still not, I was, um, I, I still understood things and could explain it. You know what I mean? I could, I could explain it and show it a little better because I researched the crap out of stuff. So it was easier for me to break it down for somebody because I, I, I got super in depth. So I was making little videos to, to kind of explain some stuff. And then they were asking about the Ibellus brush and I was like, well, I'll try it and I'll show you guys how it works. So that was the first, the first video. Now that one, I didn't, um, I didn't actually post, but later after I started posting on YouTube, I did it again because, you know, it was a good brush. It was cheap and I wanted to show people, right? Right. So after that, I got this one because this one was super cheap too. And I tested this one out, which this one's still holding up. Like it's still stable because <laughs> I know a couple people have ordered it since then. Not great, but for the price, I think it was like six bucks. It's like one of the cheapest ones on Amazon. It was actual stable and it was a good brush. So then we did the Ibellus, uh, we did the Model 1's brush, which I don't think I even have anymore. Then we did, what did we do after that? Um, I think we did one of the CADS brushes. Yeah, we did the wooden CADS brush, and then we did the metal CADS brush, which I still like. It's still got a nice thin point. Anyway, that's how we got here. Bunch of companies on Amazon made me mad. <laughs> And that's, that's why I'm here and accidentally gave me the info I needed to teach you guys. So cool. All right. And then we all remember the Beatles brush. This was actually the first really nice after the Pana. It's a Valentino. Uh, someone sent to me as a gift and it was, it was so nice. But after a couple weeks, it started shedding and hair started breaking off right here. And then my friend purchased some dupes from Alibaba. Turns out they all get their brushes from the same place. They just brand them differently. And they they were good. Like they're big puffy, big old fat boys. I like them. And I love the rose gold. I just, I really like it. I still have all my, most of the brushes I've ever bought. So, you know, and then after those, hmm, I don't know where I went after that. I don't think I reviewed those brushes because they were from Alibaba. I didn't really know how to tell people to buy them because she sourced them from a vendor. So, you know, I did really like this one. It just, it fell apart, but it was great while it lasted, man. The, um, the Valentino. I think Secret Nail Affair sells like almost the exact same one. I think that's it. So the eye gel thing, this lady. So after I did that eye gel review, I messaged him like, yo, I want my money back. That brush is straight nylon. And I got super offended by the answer that I got. And I, I don't know if I just jumped the gun on that or what. Um, she basically said, because I told her, like, it's not sable, it's nylon, and it's, you know, whatever. She was like, well, these are high-quality brushes with high-quality hairs. You may not know that if you use, you know, cheap synthetic brushes, but they're supposed to clump up like that sometimes when it's high-quality hair. And I'm like... Wh hold up <laughs> that's what the brush master thing was about in that video like no you're not trying to tell me <clears throat> you're not trying to tell me that the reason it's garbage is because it's such good quality like that doesn't even make sense and i was like no i tried it out i demonstrated it on my youtube it wouldn't even pick up a bead and she's like well for your trouble we'll you know refund your money i'm like okay but let's address the fact that you just said i don't know the diff i don't know any better because i'm used to cheap brushes and that's why I don't understand that good brushes act like trash, I guess. I don't know. I was mad. I talked, so, uh, yeah, that was why I was so mad that day. Like, that's, that's just not okay. Look at the, look at it. 
I trained it, I tried, like I gave it the benefit of the doubt, because you know, not every brush is 100% out of the box. I was mad, I was, oh my God, I was so mad. <laughs> anyway, so now we're here. And now this channel has grown because of you guys to the point where now I'm getting troll comments telling me, do my research, I don't know about brushes. And I'm like, okay, you know what? But that's okay. Not everybody is for everybody, you know? And it was an older video that she was watching, so maybe she doesn't know that I'm a, a brush nerd, you know? Ooh, this is smooth. Okay, let's check it out. So we're gonna go ahead and test this bad boy out. Do you like this? I like this. It makes me feel so professional. I don't know, I don't know why. <laughs> All right, we're gonna check this one out. But it, it's got a really good crimp on it. And look, it's still got the point, even though it's crimped. I've only ever seen that in the Young Nails brush. That's awesome. All right, chill out. Do your job. Okay, let's go. By the way, Ozzy, I know he was in here again and I laid a booby trap and I don't think he'll be messing with my hand anymore. So I put a piece of rolled up duct tape underneath it because he likes to get underneath it and try to push it off. I put a piece of rolled up duct tape underneath here and it stuck to him and he bolted like you could tell because there was hair all over the duct tape like i guess i i'm sure that he thought that the 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 hand grabbed him which was that's what you get so it's picking up a pretty nice bead for as small as it is maybe a little too big i might have got a little carried away this is the um Beetles sheer pink. They're, I think it's called French peak or something. Pink peak. Um, I use this to, when I do ombre. If you do like a French pink to white ombre, um, because it hides. Uh oh. Man, this town is so sleepy. You almost never hear the cops. So of course, when I'm trying to record at one in the morning, that's when the cops decide to come come through. So. Yeah, I use this sheer pink when I'm doing ombre because it hides that blend so good and it just, it gives it like, almost like a filter. It just smooths the, the ombre blend out so well. If you use it, if you use this to cap instead of clear, it's, it's, it's really good for that. It's just like the super clear with just a tint of pink, just like a little bit of pink. Um, yeah, I love it for, for ombre, it's great. I mean, not all ombre, but the pink to white, it's perfect. So far, so good. Like, it's doing pretty well. Yeah, it's laying pretty smooth, actually. All right, let's check it out, see how it's cleaning. So we got a little bit of acrylic. Not a ton, though. But I've also noticed with this Beatles, I have that issue sometimes. Like, it sticks just a little bit. But here, let's try it with some clear. Some speed clear from Young Nails, which uh, Shay recommended, Shayla. And I love it, because you don't have to wait for it to set. And it's great for capping, because you're not waiting half an hour for it to dry. All right, let's try this one and see if it sticks. So like I said, I had had that issue with the Beatles before, so. I want to give it a fair shot. Man, Young Nails is so good. Like, it's just so average and consistent. It's weird, though, with the Beatles. Like, their clear doesn't do that to me. And their other colors didn't really do it. It just seems to be... That pink one just sticks a little bit. You just have to watch it. All right, let's see. So yeah, better. Better. Yeah, the Young Nails isn't sticking. The Beatles was though. I love these little metal cups. I just, I love them. So let's try out a cuticle real quick. Do you love my blend here? Doesn't it look amazing? So we'll check out the, the cuticles. 
Like I said, it's a little small, but like this one was like 11 bucks. It's not awful. It is a blend, like I'm seeing now with the tiny bit of orange popping through, but look, the Young Nails isn't sticking. So, well, that's good. So let's see how it does. I do like that it kept its point. All right, so the point's not, like the point doesn't hold up super well, but it is pretty thin and it's getting, it's getting up in there. It just like, well, it's small too, so that could be it, but it seems to be doing pretty well. It's not overlapping or anything and it's getting into those little tiny spaces. So that's awesome. See how fast that speed clear sets? It's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's, it's awesome. You just better be ready. Which you would think that would stick in the brush more. I'm using my Jazz Monomer tonight. That is my favorite. Um, that's the one I use on a daily basis. It's, it's like, it's pretty inexpensive. I think you get like 30 32 ounces for like 45 bucks. Uh, it's pretty low odor. Out of all the ones I've tried, it's fairly, fairly low odor. Um, and you just really can't beat the price, especially since it's not, <laughs> it's not MMA and it works. So for that price, I expected MMA and it just, it, it's really good. So the brush is doing pretty well. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm going to try one of the bigger sizes because I really like that handle. So I think I'm going to check into the biggest size, bigger sizes. So... I think that's enough for tonight with my rambling about brushes and all that. So, sorry I'm a little late again today. Uh, a couple of my kids decided to get strep all at once. So, you know, it's been one of those days. Uh, so, I think we're going to do the Glam and Glitz tomorrow. Maybe, well, tomorrow is Saturday. So, maybe I might. I'll try. Um, and then... Oh no, today was Friday. Oh my goodness, I completely forgot today was Friday. Oh my God, I'm so sorry about the live guys. I I was oh, I was at the urgent care with the kids, I completely forgot. So we will try for, oh. I am so sorry guys. We will have to try this, you know, for this weekend. I apologize, that is completely my bad. Ugh. See, now I feel like a jerk. I am so sorry. But we'll work on this, doing it again next week, and I'm so sorry. I will include the link to the brush so you guys can check it out if you want to. But uh, thank you so much for watching.